the madman. Hey, hey. Uh, this video is not sponsored. I've continued to play Black Survival after the first video uh, was sponsored, and I do really enjoy this game. And I'm going to be showcasing a very cool character that I've enjoyed playing, Zaheer. He's actually not very popular, and I've kind of looked up the statistics of every character. He's not played very often. He doesn't win that much. He's in the lower percentile of winning. And we can kind of see why. Firstly, his main fighting combat style is thrown, which is kind of tough, but I find it works really well for the character. By the way, though, if you don't manage to find a thrown weapon, you can do really well with blade, so he's actually kind of versatile. You can even go gun if you want, uh, but I would go with the highest uh, rating as a priority. And I just love the amount of flexibility he's got. Which skill do I show off first? Let's show off Damnation. So he's known as the Pacifist. Uh, why? Because he inflicts additional damage uh, on his normal attacks based off how many opponents the enemy that you're attacking has killed as well as the enemy wild animals that they have killed. Suppose they killed an extra four characters and an extra five animals on you. That means you're dealing an extra 30 damage on a normal attack. That is very large. Uh, also, he has this very handy ability where he can find all the corpses on the map. So he's a pacifist and he's a scavenger. His job is kind of to pick up all the valuable loot on the ground that other people have dropped when they died. So it's a very interesting and different playstyle where you're actively incentivized not to kill people because then you'll do more damage in the late game. So let's go ahead and take this guy into a ranked game. And let's go ahead and start with a lunchbox, a bag, and also I'll throw in a Type D supply and icebox. Type D supply being uh, armor, icebox being some kind of food. Because I want this guy to start off with a lot of durability. And the weapon isn't quite as important because I have a very particular uh, start, I suppose I should say. Alright. Wow, that's really unexpected. There are three of this character in this game. So everyone's going to be crawling over the corpses. It's probably going to be a bad time for me. Uh, since it's usually better if I'm the only scavenger around. Maybe those two others will die out pretty quickly, though. Start off with a sniping scope. That's about it. So I really like starting in the chapel. Uh, maybe those two will also want to start in the chapel. Who knows? Looks like they didn't, though. No, there's that guy. So in the opening, I'm very happy with forcing the chapel uh, by basically trading uh, against the opponents. They sometimes run away, and if not, I'm uh, I go into stealth mode and just keep going. So this, even though flexibility is good, and this is probably not an optimal way to play him, uh, I just really like to get that chapel start. And even though this character is a pacifist, he doesn't want to kill people, it is good to trade with people, uh, get in some damage, because I increase my uh, attack ability. And since I don't actually want to kill anybody, there's no better time to train my abilities than right now. Uh, since I'm taking a minimal amount of damage back. Like, this will be the shortest uh, amount of damage, uh, smallest amount of damage I ever take back. And this is really good. Uh, I picked up two Holy Water. Uh, it's going to let me continue to survive here. Uh, since I am going to be a pacifist in this game and mostly be running away from everybody. While this isn't a great uh, methodology for, and not a great character for taking first place, He's pretty good for, uh, I mean, if you just run away and try to survive, you can get positions 2 to 5 pretty easily? I mean, not that easily uh, against better players, but we've already got down to 8. Uh, so there's another reason why I like starting the chapel, the Holy Grail. Uh, this is a special spawn item in the chapel specifically. And perhaps I didn't have to go so hard for it because the sniping scope, I started with it, so there was less of a uh, need to go for this. 
Uh, in the chapel, I'm actually going to try to pick up three crosses. Uh, one for the weapon upgrade, one for the accessory upgrade, and one for the armor upgrade. So, and see from all the stuff I like in the chapel, plus picking up all this holy water, uh, that the chapel holds a lot of value. After the chapel, ideally, I go to the temple and pick up the other half of the uh, special rare accessory. And again, I'm fine with trading. Notice that I didn't actually equip the new weapon I crafted because I'm actually trying to use the lower damage weapon. Uh, since I don't want to kill them, and I do want to trade fighting with the opponents uh, right now. And since I picked up holy water, I can actually afford to do so. Okay, good, he healed. I actually didn't want to kill him there, which is the weird thing about this character. Like, usually you want to kill people, take their stuff, and that's really good. I think he'll run away after I heal the fool here. Alright, that should do it for him. This usually causes him to run. If he doesn't run, I'm going to run, though. Alright, I'll get out of here. Um, I just clicked a place at random. Let's see, what am I looking for? So... I like to continue with building the uh, the armor next, since that's the biggest upgrade on my survivability, and survivability is key for me. Uh, the bishop's cassock upgrades very quickly into a high armor uh, tool, and after I get that, I can start scavenging corpses. So that's generally my opening of choice. Check out the temple, check out the tunnel, pick up the pickaxe, pick up the gemstone. Uh, craft my Pope's cassock. And let's start to see where these corpses are. Uh, let's go to the hospital. So I like to visit uh, locations that are going to be restricted soon so I can uh, look through people's stuff and see if there's anything I want. Uh, people who die that early, they usually don't have that great of stuff. Ooh. But it still helps. Going through people's stuff is really good because, uh, I mean, they presumably spent their entire early game to pick up stuff that they thought was good, and they're building up stuff, so... Uh, this guy's ability is actually really good, being able to spy all the corpses on the map. Now let's get out of here to the other corpse. I think um, actually the other Zaheer came to me there. So since there are multiple Zaheers, uh, multiple people will probably be picking up these corpses. Uh, the Tree of Life I picked up. It uh, goes well with the hairband that I looted from that corpse. Okay, so this guy died really fast and didn't have anything worth uh, picking up at all. Disappointing. Alright, branch. One of the other uh, Zaheers is dead. That was Jukin. Okay, so what I'm going to... So, as you can see, I've got my survivability base uh, pretty good right now. That guy's only hitting me for 17, so I'm happy with trading here. Uh, while it's cheap to trade. While it's cheap to get some skill, basically. Neither of us really plan on killing each other. We just want to train our abilities. I'll use the holy water. I might actually be willing to kill her for her... No, I've already upgraded my... Uh... Oh, for her boots, though. Those are good boots. I'm willing to take a kill, and you have to think about, like, each kill you make, is it worth it with this character? Do I gain more than I lose, which is 5 damage in the early... Uh, in the late game, or for killing a... Wildlife, two damage in the late game. Okay, so the meteorite. Uh... 
Ah, yes, uh, I should go back to the temple. See if I can pick up the other half of the accessory now. Uh, this part is not too bad to find. Uh, so here it's worth it to kill this bat, because it's in the way. Uh, even though it sucks to lose two damage in the late game, uh, I can't allow myself, and I tried this for a while, I can't let myself to not kill everything. And it's too much of a handcuff if that if I were to do that. I don't think this meteorite actually goes into anything useful because I uh, don't build into anything useful for the meteorite and uh, it's usually used for accessories, but that's not useful. Wow, this guy's already got some stuff. He isn't hitting for too hard though, so I'm happy to trade with him. Trade attacks. At, at some point, though, it becomes too much. Which was probably a little bit, I guess. Alright, so I reused the corpse check. There's someone who died in the forest, someone who died in the uh, factory. So note to self to check the factory afterwards. And another tree of life. And of course, this guy is coming to check out the corpse as well. Really unlucky getting multiple Zaheers here. Let's see, what do I want to build with this? Powder of life. Um, we'll just build a healing item. So, priorities for me. I'll use the... Okay, I'm gonna save the pill because it can be a... Uh, it can build another healing item. And as always, gotta keep an eye out for all these, uh, possibilities. With all items. Especially with Zaheer, since, uh, you lose so many corpses and you have to continue other people's work. They were trying to do something and you have to figure out what they were trying to do and continue doing it, basically. Now, unfortunately, the other Zaheer, uh, who looked like he had a lot of stuff, was already looting that guy on the forest. Uh, I'll check it out again. In fact, now is probably a good time, since uh, the item I want is also in the forest. Uh, I get to... I have to be the second one to pick over the corpse, so I won't have nearly as good stuff. Let's see, I need leg, arm, and throwing weapon. Alright, you had some stamina gain items. That's pretty useful. Nothing too good so far. Flower. So I'm looking for the temple to become unrestricted so I can finish my... Uh... Alright, we're down to five people already. Whoa, someone killed Dr. Wickeling. And Arcane... Uh... Item is there. I'll use the pill, I guess, since we're. And I'll, I should drop the meteorite also. Okay, let's figure out what I can build with this thing. Uh, boots of the Hermes. That's probably my most likely useful item. So we're looking for feather, we're looking for boots. I think there was a feather here, but I might have just overwritten it. Alright, back to the temple, where I'm going to be looking for the wooden fish. There it is. That was easy. Okay, and then to the factory to check out that guy's corpse. Oh, this is uh, here again. He's uh, following exactly my game plan. 
Alright, let's go here. Gah. If that guy wasn't in the game, I'd be getting so much extra loot. How annoying. Alright, I'm going to try to find the boots. Still trying to find the feather. Wow, people everywhere. Fire station. Ho ho! That's... Okay, let me think. Um, hat. That's what I need, I think. Yeah, wow. I mean, I had a really good hat already, but... And I ran out of throwing things. That can happen. Didn't even know someone had died here. Yeah, um, alright. So that means he's done picking at the, uh, the factory stuff now, so let's go to the factory and find, uh, out what loot's here. He's got a battle suit. Um, slightly better than what I had, but not that much better. I have a 55. So I'll just pick up the feather on her corpse. Kinda useful. So I should also try to find the upgrade for my weapon at one point or another. Uh, let's go to the temple, pick up the thick paper, get a lighter. Are you doing the same thing as me? Why are you everywhere that I'm going? Uh, we're going to the lighthouse for the lighter. Oh my gosh, someone was here. Uh, temple for the thick paper, or range if he's still here. I have to make sure not to use the last eight uh, of my item, because otherwise I can't actually upgrade my weapon from there. There's a lighter. Crap the ash. Let's see, where to next? There's a lot of different places to get uh, water, and each of these has like its slight pros and cons. I'll go to the beach, I think uh, this has the most useful other stuff, and another tree of life. Huh. I'll pick it up and see if I can find a use for it. Oh, I can always find a use for it. I can just craft more uh, healing items. And then we'll go to the fertilizer pond. Let's go here. So for the tree of life, I'm looking for a flower and I'm looking for a stone. That's why I went to the pond at first, since I believe uh, flowers spawn at the pond. Why am I carrying a feather? Oh, right, because I need boots still, also. That was a stone that's useful with the Tree of Life. There's the fertilizer. Alright, poison. There's my endgame weapon, Azure Dagger. 25 uh, charges of it will be enough to last me since I don't plan on doing too many engagements. I right, try to find some boots in the trail, so I can use the arcane stone. In the meantime, I'm also looking for flour. And I'll use this uh, corpse finding ability. Someone died at the fire station. I knew that because I picked up some stuff from it. Uh, feather, I already have it. So we're looking in a pretty good shape here. The only thing I'm missing is arm entirely. Which, usually I fill up the uh, missing pieces with, you know, looting corpses. Uh, so at this point, I'm just looking to build a lot of health regain items. Uh, pond is a good place to 
search for those at. That's a here keeps getting in my way. Let's see. Someone just probably died in the pond. And that's really good to note because uh, the pond is about to be restricted. So there will be someone with good stuff in the pond, I think. That's very likely. So we'll have to remember to check his corpse after. Although, I think the pawn may have just become permanently restricted. Since the cemetery is going to be good for a while, I'm actually going to hospital. Uh, see if there's health regain items here. I might not be the only one who thinks of this, though. Two other people thought of it. Okay, let's go to the beach and try to find some health gain items. Eh, worth killing the crow. Just for the two bread, and so I can keep using this uh, location. Turtle shell. So note to self that the flower is in the... Um, Cemetery, I want to cook the turtle shell, so we'll go to the slum. Somebody died. Let's see, I might actually want that lighter. Hey, here's my arm warmer. Let's see. There are still places where I can use boiled water to do stuff. Uh, it's rapidly decreasing, but every small advantage I can get to survive in the long game is good here. Wow, I did 73. I'll use one of these, I guess, reluctantly. So at the trail I can uh, find a bunch of stuff to use the boiling water with. Oh, someone died here. Holy blood, do I need that? Let's see, I needed an arm piece, so I'll pick that up. And this is a good place to keep looking then for stuff. Uh, I was really looking for oriental grass to mix in with this boiling water. Okay, so I have three things to use the boiling water, and I have three boiling water. So, small health and stamina regain items. Uh, looks like there are no more places that'll take my turtle shell. Another turtle shell. Alright, at this point, let me, uh... Just find that flower in the cemetery before it goes away. I think we are at three locations already. It was fast. Oh, that had a flower on it. Okay, it's late game. I'm fine with killing these people now. Alright, it's a uh, one on one now. I think it actually came down to a Zaheer one on one. Uh, other Zaheer has been playing really well. A great uh, game to showcase the power of Zaheer. Now the good news is he was the one who killed her, so uh, I'm doing 66 damage and he's only dealing 45 damage. Uh, this is going well for me. Although he's probably had a greater amount of time to loot stuff. Uh, pick, take the acupuncture. I'm gonna guess they died at the hospital. In fact, I can know where they died. The trail. So there's uh, no loss to me, like, trying to loot corpses while the opponent uh, just stays at the hospital. I'll probably find more useful things than the opponent does. Uh, my gear looks pretty good, so I'm just looking for health regain items here. Or something that combines with the turtle shell somehow. Oh, actually, that's in the hospital. 
We can get the scrolls from the... But this should still be best. Just try to find something amazing on these corpses. That I know are here. Oh, I can actually grab that. In case uh, we run out of weapons. Just in case. Oh, grilled eel. Nice. I'll take that. Nice big heal item for the uh, final showdown. Okay, I feel good for this final showdown. I'd feel even better if I got like some miracle item in the last searches here. Alright, well, let's fight out. Final showdown, hospital. Gonna wait for him to hit me one more time, use the eel, and then we go from there. It's gonna be a standard pattern of attack twice, and then eat big health item. Alright! There you have it! Easy peasy. And just think of all the extra stuff I could have gotten if there weren't another Zaheer in the game. Uh, I didn't really get the chance to showcase my special damnation ability. So, now I have a cool other screen of one game where I actually didn't like 1v1 as I hear at the end and how that ended up looking. This end screen kind of demonstrates the power of Zaheer in the super late game, especially against a very strong player. So this opponent had 108 extra skill off of me and had scavenged all of the best weapons off of everyone else that he had killed. However, he still fell to me thanks to my damnation ability. Uh, I got an extra five times six player kills for extra three damage and the difference between our monster kills was 8. So 8 times 2 is 16. So I was dealing an extra 46 damage each hit. And that ability refreshes very fast every 7 seconds. So I was hitting like a truck. Uh, even though I'm 3 levels behind and a lot of skill behind. Uh, even though I didn't record it, you can at least see a bit of the final uh, battle logs. So... I attacked the guy for 113 damage, additional damage plus 54, and then I went and healed, and then I went and attacked him again for 113 damage. I think that's the most damage I've ever done in a single hit, and yeah, that kills people really fast.